Welcome to the first video of Section 3, discussing an overview of alignments. Upon completion of this video, you will have an understanding of what Civil 3D alignments are, how to create alignments, and the settings and styles that control alignment creation. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 0301 alignmentoverview.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with the Dataset for this course video. Alignments are used in almost every civil engineering project. They help you lay out roads, bike trails, and even railways. Any design that will need to follow a linear type fashion will start out as a horizontal alignment. Civil 3D provides many ways to create horizontal alignments. You can create alignments from scratch using the layout tools or from standard AutoCAD objects like lines, arcs, and pylines. The alignment creation tools are located in the Home tab, Create Design Panel, Alignment dropdown. As you can see here, there are many methods to creating alignments. Alignments are stored in the Prospector tab in the Alignments category. If you notice here, there are different categories for the different types of alignments that you may need in a project. Alignments, as with everything in Civil 3D, have settings and styles that you need to be aware of before creating them. The settings and styles are located in the Settings tab under the Alignment category. As you can see, we have subcategories for the alignment styles, which control exactly how and where the subcomponents of an alignment will display. You also have design checks, which allow an alignment to follow the AASHTO standards, or design checks such as radial checks and tangent checks as well. And of course, we have the label styles category, which controls every aspect of labeling for alignments, including major and minor stationing, station offsets, line curve spiral, geometric points, and so on. And of course, we have table styles. If you have an alignment table for line, curve, or spiral, or segment tables, this is where you would define how those tables should get displayed. Lastly, if you want to control the actual command settings, such as toggles, default values, etc., expand the command as shown here, and you can change any of those different settings in here. Again, as with all the settings and styles in Civil 3D, to edit any of them, simply right-click and choose Edit, or if you need to create something new, you can right-click and choose New, or copy one from an existing one. In summary, we discuss an overview of Civil 3D alignments. In the next section, we'll discuss alignment element constraints.